you've been out to the Victoria Airport lately, you might have seen one of these and heard a lot of this. And maybe someone's put one of these signs up to your car. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering, what the heck is going on? We've got an awful lot that's going on right now. We've got we've got our uh, our own road uh, relocation. We'll take a look at that. We've got uh, the the National Defense has got their new hangar for the 443 Squadron. That's 105 million dollars worth of activity. And we've got Thrifties on the other side of the airport. Uh, superstructures going up right now. That's a 32 million dollar project. If you're a fan of the McTavish roundabouts you're going to love the new airport road. They're creating another one that you can enjoy as you exit the airport onto Willingdon. We're roundabout uh, crazy here at the airport, uh, or happy, roundabout happy at the airport. And we started the first uh, roundabout uh, on the peninsula with the one at East Sandwich and Wellington. We're extending that here so the traffic will continually flow. And just down the road from that will be the D&D hangar that will house the Navy's latest generation of helicopters. Hundreds of great jobs uh, uh, here uh, through D&D and uh, that's only going to get better at, with the new uh, new hangar, $105 million worth of economic activity, huge hangar. It's going to be 200 and, uh, 219,000 uh, square feet. That'll be the biggest building west, or excuse me, north of uh, Uptown. You can look forward to seeing the finished product in about two years. And on the other side of the airport, the $32 million lead certified Sobeys Thrifties Warehouse. Thrifties have spent an enormous amount of money on the design and uh, construction of this facility. It's a lead development, which is the greenest kind of development that you can make. And just down the road from that, the Victoria Airport Authority is expanding the intersection in anticipation of all the traffic the warehouse will generate. And the total cost of all four projects about a hundred and forty million dollars and for a small municipality like North Saanich that's quite something. With the efforts they've made I think it has really been an asset to our tax base there's no question and having the airport authority manage it makes that a reality. But there is one major project to get off the ground and that's the extension to the existing runway and that would allow big international planes more runway to land on. In the meantime, the airport authority continues to add new flights. Well, we're really happy that uh, WestJet's bringing on new flight to Phoenix starting on Fridays in November. So that's a good, uh, a good, a good opportunity for the airport and certainly great for the communities. One bit of construction that I'm actually thrilled about is the completion of this airport trail. It's going to go all the way around the airport and will be a complete 10K. I just can't wait. From North Saanich, I'm Karen Algersma for The Daily.